hear me? Okay. Faceball, how are you today? Are you all right? I can't hear. Are you sleeping? How are you today? Now sound much better. That's good. Okay, before I start, I would like just to remember some important announcement. I can say no announcement or notice. Uh, 14 years ago, yesterday, it was yesterday, the 12th of March, 2008, Shalom, our church mother, send a couple to Ireland. Those couple, they came here as a pastor. It's pa our pastor Marcio and pastor Fabiana with their family. They left everything there. They just came here because of the calling, because they put God first. As we know, they, they left their family, relative, and the church there, they were crying, but they came here to start. Today we are blessed, as you can see. Look at around you, we are blessed. And one of the blessings, I am one of the leaders, was, was rich. And today it's a privilege, I'm going to share the word of you. Isn't it amazing? Let's plug for the glory of God. King of King, Lord of Lord. All the honor, glory belongs to him. Amen? Okay, before I start, I would like to, to pray. Let's close our eyes and pray. Lord Jesus, I thank you so much for this wonderful time. We have started, we started with us. We are here praising you, worshiping you, lift you high. Lord, Holy Spirit, we invite you to take control of this place. Father, all this distraction, we rebuke in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, you are the one who is going to lead this. You started and going to lead this service until the end. And Father, all the glory, honors belong to you. Father, use me as an instrument. The word you touched my heart to preach, and you helped me to prepare that word. That word is, I'm going to preach, is, is for me as well to put this in practice. Help each one of us to, when receive the word, open the heart and to put it in our daily life. In Jesus' name, I've prayed. Amen. Okay. Let's get started. Today, the message is, put God first. Put God first. Is God first in your life? Is a question. I leave it for you. Think about it. Is God first in your life? Today we are going to talk about an important principle in the Word of God. The principle that God should always be first in our lives. You need to understand about this principle. As I said before, is God first in your life? Can you say without hesitation that God is first in your life? Is God in your daily agenda? Is God first in your finances? When you receive your income, your salary, Being a Christian does not work out right if God is put on the sideline in our lives. What does, what does come in your mind when you, when you hear the word first? How do you describe it? What comes in your mind when you hear the word first? 
How do you describe it? First. What's first for you? I'm going to hear, help me to preach. What is first for you? What is first for you? Sorry, I can't hear. Most important, yes, thank you. Priority, thank you. Which else? Okay, let's move on. We are going to learn what the Bible tells us about putting God first. Let us open our Bible in the book of John 1, 3. John 1, verse 1, from verse 1 to verse 3. What it says. I want you to follow in your Bible, please. If you don't have Bible, we fall just on the screen. It says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through Him, all things were made. Without Him, nothing was made that has been made. The key word is here in this verse is in the beginning. We say, let's put it, beginning is the ink form of verb to begin. What does the word begin mean for you? If you look at the screen, what does one? Please, and that's the meaning. It means to perform under the first part of an action on activity. Similar words, we can't say similar words to begin is start. Initiate, inaugurate, commence, etc. I give example to start in car. Before you go to your car, you take the gear, you put the key, you start and you put the gear and you move. Is you can't go drive the car without starting. Let's put the key on and start. Initiate what's come to your mind when you say something you're going to initiate. Is something you're going to start is first and inaugurate inaugurate normally we use when they they build the new building or the mayor of the town or mayor or the senator going to inaugurate they go there there is a one case going to court and inaugurate going to be used for the first time is first commence Maybe when we are, we are planning to commence one course, they will, stay, they will say the course will commence on that day. It's going to be the first day of the course. Our God is the beginning. Everything starts with him, for him. The reason we, we are here, we left our place because of him. He is first. He should be first in our life. Amen. Let's open the Bible in the book of Psalm 143, verse 8. What it says. Okay, let's read. Let the morning bring me words of your unfailing love. For I have put my trust in you. Show me the way I should go. For to you I trust my life in the morning bring me the word of your unfailing love that's mean when we wake up in the morning we have to seek God we deal, we kneel down and we seek his unfailing love and ask him to we trust him and to show us the way we should go if we do that is we are seeking for guidance. We are seeking for orientation. We are seeking how to do. That is independency. Because each one of us, we, be, we depend on God. 
If you want to have a successful life, everything to be all right and everything to be blessed, you have to seek God in the beginning when you wake up and you ask for him to give you guidance. And if you do that, you will have a prosperous day. Try that, you will see. Don't wake up just rushing. Don't, please. If you wake up rushing, rushing, rush, and your day will gonna be disaster. Because you have no protection. It's the same. Why everybody, why the government was say to the people, you have to get the vaccine against the coronavirus. Why? For, why that? To protect your life. It's the same. Every single day we have to get a spiritual vaccine. He is the word of God, Holy Spirit, going to protect you against the accident, against everything, because you have the protection from him. He is the one, is the big, in the beginning was him. He is the owner of everything. He is almighty God. He is the creator. He is the alpha and omega, the beginning and the end. He is God unlimited. Mean has no limit. Was God before? He's here. It will be forever and more. Amen. Amen. Let's use that. That is the key of success in life. If you do that, you will see, you will start seeing your life going to start changing. Because you have the protection, you have the spiritual vaccine. No corona, no accident, no nothing going to harm you because you have the protection of almighty God. Amen. Okay. Let's open our Bible in the book of Matthew. Matthew 6, 33, 34. What it says? Okay. It's there. I'm going to read from here. Put first his kingdom and his righteousness. And all these things will, will be given to you as well. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow. For tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of itself, of its own. You see, this pastor, if you go to the verse, the previous verse, it was Jesus Christ talking to his disciple, saying to them, teaching them, because just Christ told the disciple, some worry, think about tomorrow, think about money, think about the food, about the clothes. He say, why he was so worried about what you're going to eat, what you're going to wear, what you're going to dress, what you're going to drive. Don't worry. Seek it first. The kingdom of God, all these things will be given to you as well. That means, here it is one principle. The key word is first. The key word is first. If you seek first the kingdom of God and his rationness, all these things will be given to you as well. The money will be given to you. The clothes will be given to you. The car will be given to you. If you, if you, don't, if you are single, you will get married, you will get a, a good partner. If you look at around, if you are, you are married, you see around, or you have a partner, God has blessed you with a good wife, a good partner. If you are single, God will bless you. If you are a parent, look at around, we bless you with a good children. God is God. Look at around, all of us, we are shining like a star. Say to your neighbor, you are shining like a star. Woohoo! That is us. The happiest people in all the world. Okay. What does it mean to put God first? Let's see, what does it mean to put God first? Okay. Number one. Priority and passion. 
What is priority in you when we start, you say, when we put things first? Passion is something you, want, you, you like and you enjoy doing it. When you prioritize, meaning you put number one first. You don't, you just, you keep it, you give it value. It's number two, to give it value above everything else. It's like, let me give you one example. When you like, uh, the children, when you buy a new toy for them, they going to keep it, nobody touch. Nobody. My sister is coming or my brother will keep it because it's going to touch. Because they give you value. It's the same as when you get, example, a new car. The car you, you are we're looking for. When you get that car, even you go to the car, look around, this is clean. The car is clean, but you still clean the car again. I remember when I got the car <laughs> myself. The car was clean. I took the power. I have to... My wife told me, Luciano, the car is clean. I said, no, I found something here. I need to, to shine the car, this car, because when I, oh, I can't take you like that because you are my queen. You have to go in the car shining. Let me queen. I, the car was clean, I over and again, clean the, the tire, everything to go, because I was giving value that car. I said, now my queen, go. How do you feel? It fit me well, and you, oh, I'm going driving. Enjoying, enjoying, enjoying. You see, because you give value. You, it's your, it's, we should give value the, the God. Number three, time and resources. We give our time. We don't rush. If you're going to go, you go start working like eight o'clock. You have to leave one hour before seven. But you're not gonna work. Work up seven, get up seven, and you rush. Half, half six or six to have time with the Lord to receive a spiritual vaccine, spiritual protection, and from there you will your your day gonna be successful. And you use your time, you use your results. Everything you have is God who gave you. The wife you have. Is God gave you the husband you have is God gave you the brother you have is God gave you the partner you have is God gave you grandchildren you have God gave you look beautiful people shalom family is God who gave us look at around us everybody is shining as I say look at the smiley people the happiest people in the world we are here and we make this beauty to people People, they will see how we are shining. We are happy. And people, go, they will say, okay, I want to be, to, to be these people as well. What is the secret? We'll say to them, the secret is Jesus Christ. Okay, now, number four, oppor opportunity. What is opportunity for you? Opportunity is something you're going to use like we as member of this church to be a disciple of Jesus Christ. Who is disciple of Jesus Christ? Lift the hand. To be a disciple of Jesus Christ is a one opportunity. Is one privilege. You take it. You use it to bless people and to. And when you are blessing people, in the title offering, we have learned it is more. Giving than receiving. That's mean. When you are blessing, you're going to receive. Use that opportunity. Start the word of God. Preach the gospel. Love people. And take part of the kingdom of God. Trust. Number five. What is trust for you? When we trust someone, it's something that... Uh, we trust and we trusting we can use it as well as a faith. Because to have a faith, you must trust in God. If you don't have faith, you don't you not you, you will not going to trust God. 
Trust is something we need to trust. Like husband trusts wives and wife trusts the husband. Children trust, trust the parent, the parent trust the, the, the children. And also, we as a brother and sister, we have to trust each other. Because God trusts us, we need to trust each other. Love, number six. Love, the greatest love in the world, it was what God did. It was mentioned before through our pastor. Love, God so loved the earth and also the world. He loved so much his only begotten son. He gave him to die for me and for you. The reason we are here, Jesus went to the cross. He humbled himself. He came down because of me and you. That's love. We should love each other as well. Let you tell me something. Never meet with other people before you meet with God. Before you go to work, meet with God. Pray. Ask him for guidance. Tell him to direct you, to conduct you. Take time to acknowledge him and say, I need you today, God. Keep me in the right path and guide me. Rely on Jesus. He will assist you. That is independency. We need to depend on God. Don't try to depend on yourself because we are human beings. We are sinners. We can't. Even myself, I can't trust myself because if I'm not going to depend on God, seeking for God for guidance every single day, I will not have to sex. Okay. Three things occur when we put God first. Number one, we honor Him. When we put Him first, we are honoring Him. It brings honor to God, and He is worthy of honor. Number two, it unlocks blessing upon our lives. Unlock. Like example, when you receive your salary or your income, you set apart, you put what belongs to God first, and your finance, when you put him first in your finance, he will unlock your upon your, your life. Example I'm going to give you myself. One day I mentioned here I was doing Titan offering. I had maybe five years ago, six years ago, I had one insurance. That insurance was a crazy insurance. I, I used to pay that insurance doing one. Here it was 550 euro monthly. I paid that insurance for one year. That was a crazy. It was God was, was, was supplying every month. Why? But even though I was, every, every time when I receive my income, I will set apart first from God. I will say, this is for God, it belongs to him. And after, I will ask God, I take the 10% and I take also my offering. And I say, God, the one I, I rest, is on my hand helping me to manage yeah. Yeah. helping me to manage and also he helped me I managed I was able to and I paid that insurance it was God's hand amen let's read now the book of Hebrews 6 now Hebrews 11 6 what it say number 3 before we go to Hebrews 11 6 number 3 please it shows your faith. Now we go to Hebrews 11:6. It says, "And without the faith, it's impossible to please God, because anyone who comes to Him must be believe that He exists and that He reward, rewards those who earnestly seek Him. And when we come to God, we have to trust 
and the reward he will reward us and another verse Psalm 37 4 and 5 what it is say take the light in the Lord he will give you the desire of your heart commit your ways to the Lord trust in him and he will do this when we delight to the Lord and we he will give all our desire of our heart when we commit to him and we trust in him as well amen let me give you just one example one of, of example we have we said our pastor they left Brazil they came here because they put God first and what God did today we have our church is growing and my own example 11 years ago I used to live in St. Patrick accommodation as a salam seeker on that time I lived there for five years on that time we were not allowed to work we were not we were only allowed to start until level four we couldn't go further level four that's it you can't go you can't go far and to make things worse on that time living on the salam accommodation my family and i we got a deportation letter things become worse but even though we prefer to put god first we see what should we do we put god first and things start turning around and the god changed the deportation letter was cancelled and we were granted leave to remain hallelujah <laughs> praise the lord praise master jesus do you know why because we put god first and god turns things around and he works in on our behalf and nowadays i am volunteering as a family support work at chok nadini family resource center i am helping assisting supporting and advocating on behalf of asylum seeker and migrant in county mona what happened to me it was hard but god used that as an opportunity he changed today i am blessing people and that's why because we, i put god first maybe you will say brother luciano you don't know what i'm going through but god does if god did it for me god can do for you as well god has no favoritism i'm gonna repeat if god did it for me god can do for you as well you receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Say, I receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Let's open our Bible in the book of Proverbs 8, 17. What to say? I love those who love me, and those who seek me will find me. God is saying, I love those who love him, and those who seek him will find him. We have to seek the Lord and we'll find him. My dearest brother and sister, it is so good to be an employee of Jesus Christ. And he is almighty God above everything. That's so amazing. It is a great privilege to be an employee of Jesus Christ. Say to your neighbor, you are an ambassador of Jesus Christ. And let's say all together, we are ambassador of Jesus Christ. Because we are working on his behalf. We are working on his behalf. Wherever 
we represent him, him wherever we are, in whatever we do, that's take the key of the success of our life. That is the key. We belong to Jesus. We are representing him. In conclusion, before, let's open our Bible in the book of Mark 12, 30. What it is it say? Mark 12, 30. It is say, love the Lord, all your God, with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, all your strength. That's putting God in first. We love him with all our strength, of all our soul, and with all our mind. When we love God, we're going to invest our relationship with him every day. We're going to do everything and devote it to him. We're not going to hold back. Let's open our Bible in the book of 1 John 5, 2. Look, say what it is say. We know we love God's children if we love God and obey his commandment. When we obey his commandment, we are showing we are putting God first. We are, and we are also, let's see, here, we'll see, we are putting God first. Why? Because he loved us first. And let's see, what does we put God first in conclusion? Number one, to prioritize to prioritize God and his kingdom all the time. When we will give priority to God and his kingdom all the time. To give God the value above everything else. Else. To spend more and more time seeking God and his kingdom. Number four. Let God lead and direct us always. Number five. Trusting God more and more no matter situation we are going through. Love God more and more with all your heart and all your strength. Now uh, we're going to speak challenge and recommendation. Number one, to study the Bible every day at least when we get up and before you go to bed. When we get up in the morning, we start the Bible. And when we go to sleep, and we, before we go to bed, we start the Bible as well. At least twice. Number two, to encourage more and more for one another to put God first in our life. We need to encourage more and more each other. Number three, to pray more and more for, more, for one another to put God first above everything else. Number four, to support more and more each other to expand the gospel and to reach the lost. Number five, to love more and more each other. That's very important. We are brothers and sisters. Number six, to forgive more and more each other. That's no easy. But we need to forgive more and more each other. I know what Jesus said when the disciple, one disciple asked him, how many times I should forget, forgive my brother? What was the answer? Seven times 70 is equal 490 a day. A day, 490. For, that's mean, I can't, I can't do something wrong to you. Sometime I say to my wife, remember seven times 70. <laughs> because I am a blessed husband. Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> I do. <laughs> Some people say, oh, no, no, you don't talk to me. I just say, remember, my darling, seven times 70. 
He called. She said, okay, go away. <laughs> but she will forgive me. That's husband and wives. Remember that, brothers and sisters. Children and parents, seven times 70. Equal 490 a day. That is Jesus Christ who said, not Luciano. It's Jesus, not me. All right. <laughs> you see, people now, to say amen is easy. Amen. That's no easy. If we say, God bless you, God, amen. Uh, forget, forgive seven times 70. Uh, amen. You see, because I know it's not easy, me, even for myself. Sometimes I seek help from our pastor, our leader. They know, you know, I have something bitter in my heart. They did wrong for me. It's difficult for me to forgive. Pastor helped me, the, the leader helped me pray. Luciano, I've, Ask the leader, ask the pastor. They know I'm, I have struggled as well to forgive. But we have to make all the faults to forgive. I know it's not easy. I know that. Number seven, make all efforts to take part in all church meetings. Mornings prayer meetings, Saturday Bible study, cell meetings, conquer school, inside the Sunday service. When you come to the meetings, you are putting God first and he deserves our, our best and he will reward you. When we do that, God will reward us. Amen? Amen. Did you receive the word of God? Amen. Okay, let's pray now. God, we thank you. We glorify your name for this wonderful word you gave us. This word came from you, Father, is to put you first. Because everything started from you. In the beginning, you were there, and you are, and you will be forevermore. Father, we gave all to your hand. That's what you, thought you, you put in my hand to preach. Myself, I'm going to also to put it in, in practice. I ask you, Father, touch each one of our hearts to respond to live this life, to put it in practice, to put you in first place in our life, in our work, in our finances, in everything we, we have. Because you are Jehovah Jireh, you are the God of provider, you are the healer, you are the main worker, you are everything. Everything we need is you. With your presence, we have everything. With your protection, we have everything. That's why we are here. We left our place with love to come to worship you, to glorify your name. Jesus Christ, above all, King of kings, Lord of lords, we thank you, we glorify your name. If you receive this word, shout hallelujah, applaud to him. All the glory, all that belong to him. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay. Thank you, Pastor. Yeah. Please.